One very, very hot day, Charlie, the caterpillar, was sitting on a leaf, daydreaming. I wish you were not so ordinary. I want to be beautiful, like a flower. Just then, a red bird came and sits beside Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi, red bird. Why are you so sad? I want to be beautiful, but I'm just ordinary. Of course not. I think you are a fine caterpillar. Just fine? I want to be beautiful. I want to be beautiful. Don't worry. One of these days, you will look at yourself and say, I am beautiful. And off the red bird flew. Charlie decided to go for a walk near the pond. He walked for a while, then stopped to eat. While he was eating, he saw himself in the water. What's beautiful about being a caterpillar? I guess I'll forever be ordinary. Summer has gone by, and then came the rainy days. Charlie loves rainy days. He would climb a tree and take a nap under a leaf. When the sun came out, Charlie would climb down and look around and see what the rain has done. Wow! Everything looks so new! Everything smells good! Everything looks so beautiful! Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe the rain has made me beautiful too! And as quick as he can, Charlie went to the pond to see if the rain has made him beautiful. But... Nothing has changed! I'm still an ordinary caterpillar. <sighs> Not even the rain can make me beautiful. One day, as Charlie was eating a leaf, he saw the red bird again. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Mr. Red Bird. How are you? Here. I'm still ordinary. Well, everything is so beautiful. Just then, two little red birds came down and joined them. Oh, these are my children. Children meet Charlie. Hi, Charlie! Hello! We just learned to fly. Yes! We can fly so high! We can see the top of the trees and the ponds below. We also try to catch the clouds. <laughs> Come! Let's chase the clouds again. Wait! Wait for me! Charlie, I need to go. I'll see you later. And off they flew. And Charlie was left alone thinking. Look at them. They are so happy. They have their wings to fly to see everything from above. Everything beautiful. Unlike me. I have no wings. I'm just an ordinary caterpillar. The summer turned into fall. And the fall into winter. It's getting colder and colder. Snowflakes came down from the sky. Wow! This is so beautiful! But it's getting colder. I need to warm myself up. So, up a tree he went, climbing and climbing until he found the right spot. I think this is the perfect place to sleep. Then Charlie began to weave himself a cocoon. He made it so nice and thick that the cold could not get in. Oh, this feels so great. Charlie went off to sleep. The winter was so long and cold, but Charlie didn't feel anything. He stayed all cozy and warm in his cocoon. 
The winter gave way to spring with all its new bright colors. Charlie woke on a rather hot spring day. He slowly got out of his cocoon. Finally, it's time to wake up. This is a beautiful day. Suddenly, he felt something on his back. Oh, what's this? This is so beautiful. The colors are so bright. <laughs> I am so beautiful. I am so beautiful. Charlie was a monarch butterfly. You see, the butterfly has to be a caterpillar before it can become a butterfly. Charlie was so happy that he went to show his friends. Hi guys, it's me, Charlie. <laughs> wow, Charlie, you have your wings. Yes, I feel so wonderful. I flew with the clouds today. It was so beautiful, more beautiful than I could ever imagine. We're so happy for you, Charlie. Hi, Mr. Redbird. You look so beautiful, Charlie. I can see that you are so happy. I am so happy. I could shout with joy. I'm so glad that I'm not ordinary anymore. Everything is so beautiful. And now, so I am. You were always beautiful, Charlie. <laughs>